Hello, and welcome to The Pulse, Lake Wildwood's news and information program. My name is Paul Town, and this is the news for the week starting Friday, March 8th. The general manager reports that there are several excellent articles concerning wildfire preparation located at ubanet.com. He also reports that several amendments to the EMO rules were preliminarily approved by the board. The board also approved a 2019-20 budget. The budget will come back to the board at the regular March board meeting on March 26 at 6 p.m. in the Cedar Room. The EMO amendments and the proposed budget will be published in TWI and are available online at the association's website at lwwa.org. If any comments or concerns on either issue, you can contact the board directly by emailing board at lwwa.org. Speaking of the board, the regular board of directors planning meeting is scheduled for March 13th at 1.30 in the Cedar Room, and the business meeting will be March 26th at 6 p.m. also in the Cedar Room. Uh, meeting agendas and board packets are available at lwwa.org. Be the proud owner of Miss Daisy. We have replaced our shuttle golf cart, lovingly known as Miss Daisy, which is now available for purchase. Best, over, best offer over $500 takes her home. For more information, please contact Bill Hamilton at 432-2187, extension 2052. Once again, there will not be a shred day this year in Lake Wildwood. April 15th is fast approaching and the AARP tax aides are busy preparing personal tax returns. This service is provided to Nevada County residents at no charge. Appointments are necessary and both Lake Wildwood employees and residents can schedule an appointment by calling the community center at 432-3260. These appointments will be on Wednesdays through April 10th in the Manzanita Room of the Community Center. There are a couple reminders from EMO. It is time to take down all the beautiful holiday lights and decorations. Our office will be issuing notice of violation warnings to non-compliant lots. Also, don't forget that if you need to remove a tree, even if it's dead or dying, or you have a defensible space advisory, you must contact EMO office at 432-0633 prior to removal. Failure to do so may result in a substantial fine. In Clubhouse news, Porkchop will be returning to the 19th hole on March 8th. They will be playing from 6 to 8.30. Don't forget that Chris Crockett plays every Wednesday from 5.30 to 8.30. Here's some news from the golf shop. It's hard to believe, but if the weather cooperates, the first Twilight Golf and Dinner Tournament will be held on March 26. The format will be a four-person scramble playing from our new orange tees. The entry fee is $42 per couple, and you can sign up today in the pro shop. Are you looking to improve your cl clubs this year? The Pro Shop is having their spring raffle. They'll be raffling a set of ping irons and drivers. Ticket sales will be limited, and the tickets are $25 each, or five for $100. For more information, visit the Pro Shop. Public Works reports with all the rain and the expected sunny weather, the grass is beginning to grow rapidly. This means it's time once again for Public Works Department to begin its annual road shoulder spray program. The edges of the road will be sprayed with a 1% solution of Ranger Pro, which is a systemic herbicide. This spray is not a ground sterling. If you do not want us to spray in front of your property, please call the Public Works Office at 432-1170 prior to March 16th. Please be aware that if we do not spray the area, it will then be the property's owner's responsibility to maintain a weed-free shoulder. If you're on last year's no spray list, 
You do not need to call it again. The following committees will be meeting this week. Adcock Fire will meet Monday at 3 in the Dogwood Room. Environmental Management will hold their meeting on Thursday at 8.30 in the Manzanita Room. Golf meets Tuesday at 2 in the Acorn Room. Parks and Rec meets Monday in the Manzanita Room at 3. On Thursday at 3, Public Safety meets in the Dogwood Room. And finally, on Tuesday, Public Works meets in the Dogwood Room at 9. Save the dates. Tanya Scarlett concert tickets are available at the Community Center office. The concert will be Friday, March 22nd, 7 to 9, in the Cedar Room. Tools, Trash, and Treasure will take place on the south side on April 27th and 28th, and on the north side on May 4th and 5th. You can pr purchase your official sign beginning March 25th in the Community Center office. Cost per house is $15. Artists of the Oaks monthly meeting is March 8th in the Manzanita Room starting at 10.30. You're invited to join the Lake Wildwood Diners Club for an alternative typical Irish buffet supper on Sunday, March 17th at 4. The Lake Wildwood Garden Club will be touring Jenny Davis's Metal Garden Art in Nevada City on Tuesday, March 12th at 1.30. Men and Lady Niners, save the date, April 23rd. Remember me, a nine-hole golf tournament with lunch and presentation in support of the Sierra Nevada Memorial Hospital's Alzheimer and Dementia Outreach Programs. Fun, fun, fun. The Lake Wildwood Singles Club invites you to join us for a Mardi Gras celebration on Tuesday, March 19th at 6 p.m. in the Community Center Lake Room. Tennis Club, the St. Patty's Tournament is coming up on Saturday, March 16th. Look for more information soon. Yacht Club, just a friendly reminder that our Friday, March 15th dinner event, Luck of the Ivers, has been moved to the Cedar Room from the clubhouse. That's all the news for this week. I would like to thank you for watching The Pulse. Don't forget to subscribe to The Pulse on the YouTube channel and have a great week.